So this is going to be the first, uh, maybe the only video in English. And uh, I'm doing it in English because I was looking for some videos online and I couldn't find any about this subject. So what we're doing here is uh, we're doing um, a live uh, session for an X32 Compact. And uh, we are processing 32 channels through um, Live Professor here. So what we're doing is, I'm going to try to show you the, the routing. So uh, we are receiving all channels from uh, a next 32 rack on stage. And it's coming on, uh, it's coming in through AES 50. And um, so to do this, we're sending all the tracks from AES 50 into the USB card. So you go in, in the card uh, menu and you just select where your inputs are coming from. So you can see AES 1 to 8, 9 to 16, etc. And we have a user and I will try to explain this afterwards. So this means uh, when you do this, it means all tracks are going into your live professor. So I have uh, 32 tracks and we're using mostly... Um, Plugin Alliance um, plugins, and because they actually we get zero latency from it, we're using this uh, Focusrite and the SSL channel. Um, so, back to routing, um, you set up your inputs and you send them to the card, and then you do the same thing backwards, you get your inputs from the card. That means everything that is being processed in um, Live Professor is coming back into your mixer. So one, uh, 1 to 8 is getting the signal from card 1 to 8, 9 to 16 is getting the signal from the card 9 to 16, etc. Um, and that's mostly it. Uh, we do have a little bit of a uh, little extra because we have our, I have a bus, a drum bus, and I have uh, my, um, like my mix bus also on uh, a bus. So that way I can send these two stereo buses into Live Professor also and um, process them through some extra plugins or whatever you want. And they're coming back here on these two buses. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, just um, leave them on the comments. I will show you one more extra thing. We are using this. Try to focus. I'm trying to focus on this. It's not, hard, not easy. But uh, I'm not sure if you can see the DSP is running at around 30%. And uh, the... The, our our sample rate is 41.1 and our buffer size is 64 and this means we have let me see what this says about latency it says we have for buffer size 64 samples 1.5 milliseconds I'm not sure why this isn't actually focusing maybe this is better and we have some uh, latency on the inputs and the outputs, which is about three milliseconds in and out. So I guess total amount is about six, seven, seven or eight milliseconds. I have not tested this to see if it's correct or if any plugin is adding any extra processing. But, um, well, I'm just doing front house, so it's not a problem for me. It's uh, fine. And um, I think that's it. I just have one more little thing to show you. I have um, a I have assigned a button here. If I have any problem with this uh, computer, which actually is I haven't said, but it's a uh, Mac AirBook Pro M1, 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM. And uh, if I have any problem with this, I just click on here, and it goes into Panic Scene. Panic scene, what it does is just it changes all the routing and gets rid of anything going into the computer and just 
every channel comes in straight from AES50 and you can barely hear a, a difference uh, when, it, when it changes. Not in sound, but in uh, there's a little glitch, but it's really short. So if you have a problem with this, you can easily go back into your um, safe panic mode. And then when it's, once it's fixed, I have another one that goes straight back into the computer. And uh, that's it. Again, leave me a comment if you have any questions.